Good morning, it's Hiker Dude Dad. It's a uh, chilly day here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, but I am uh, going to do a different kind of video today. Um, I recently got a new hammock set up for going to like campgrounds and doing like car camping and everything like that. I just I can't do uh, tents anymore. So if I'm at a uh, place where I can park and have my car, um, I got an awesome new hitch mount for uh, my hammock so I can sleep. So I'm going to show you that and I'm going to try and figure out a tarp situation for the top of it in case it's rainy. Um, my hammock has a tarp. We'll see if I can rig it up on here and see if that works or if I have to order a new solution. So let's go. Right, so first off, this is not my usual uh, car that I'm out and about in. I am uh, borrowing the wife's car for this. She, hers is the only one here, this 2017 Pilot with a uh, hitch. Uh, it's an aftermarket one that we got from like eTrailers.com and uh, had my brother-in-law mount up. Uh, I'm going to be showing the back of the car a lot here, so uh, I guess it's wise to cover up your license plate. Um, I just hope I remember to take this off before she drives into the hospital tonight. So we've got uh, standard uh, two-inch hitch down here. Um, got the little chain things there, but uh, this is mounted with like six bolts to the frame. Um, I had my brother-in-law do it uh, because he is good at that kind of uh, car mechanical stuff uh, and he used a torque wrench and we've been on a couple trips. We've taken uh, a big heavy arctic cooler stuffed with other gear on a um, uh, kind of one of those tray fold up tray kind of things. We have a four bike rack uh, that we've used this with and it's uh, been pretty tough so far so I don't mind uh, you know 200 pound me laying on this thing. Um, so our parts here. Uh, this is going to go into our hitch here. McLean Metalworks is the company uh, for these. They have a real fancy uh, hammock stand here that is uh, really expensive um, but it all folds down into one piece. I have to kind of take these four poles off throw them in the car and set them up when we get there. So this part goes into the hitch, got a locking uh, um, pin, um, and then out here on the sides, you know, these kind of have angled brackets at each end that are going to take these poles. Um, these four poles come loose for a couple extra bucks. You can get this uh, pack that has a Velcro strap and these um, kind of clover leaf plastic uh try and get in there no i'll take them off later and show you but these uh clover leaf kind of brackets to keep everything all your poles tight together uh they probably had some more rugged colors but i went with the bright hot pink so that i don't lose them so they're easier to see and then all my hammock stuff fits in here this is what i take backpacking this is my dutchware gear uh chameleon so that's in here in the double-ended stuff sack. Um, here's my rain fly from them. Also, I'm gonna see if I can make that work somehow uh, on the back of here and get a good hang. All right, so step one, put the main piece of the mount in. Gonna line up the hole here. Come in here from uh, the back with my locking pin. Put that on as soon as you take the key out. Locked snug so nobody goes away with it, it doesn't fall out. Uh, that'd be step one. You gotta make sure your poles here, your openings here are facing outward. Okay, so here are your four poles. Uh, there's two of each. The top pieces have this uh, loop on it so you can mount the hammock. Um, and the bottom ones are, are longer. Uh, here's those clover uh, kind of clamps uh, there to keep everything good. And then uh, let's take this guy, drop down in there, and it'll kind of catch itself down there and latch. And it just sits in there. Yeah, there's a tab 
You can see top right there. Uh, there's a tap that goes in and it catches it from going through. Next step, these guys have their own kind of collar stopper there. They sit in also. I'm going to put this facing down. You can kind of see how it's angling out away from the vehicle, which is nice. I'm still going to be able to open the uh, back tailgate if I need to. Um, <laughs> it's winter in Pennsylvania. This car was filthy. I did kind of attempt to uh, wipe it down a little bit. My wife, in addition to wondering why she has a variety pack covering her license plate, is probably also going to wonder why two panels of her car are sort of half-acidly wiped off. All right, pull number two. Aim that down and we're ready to go. All right, so I am out here alone again. So I had to duct tape my tape measure over there, but the uh, span across here actually 10 foot nine inches um, of span here. So um, I've looked at canopies that kind of go off your tailgate and um, I'm just not sure that they're wide enough. There's one out there uh, that I'll talk about in a second that I'm probably going to end up trying if two of my other ideas don't work out. All right. So using these carabiners, I got these off Amazon. Um, they're meant to hold like 1,200 pounds each, but I'm going to put these out on the end here. Um, already got one in place here, but I'm going to throw the other one on um, out here. There's also locked together, and I'll show you how easy it is to string up here. Uh, my chameleon red at the head. Just open that stuff sack, pull it out. beautiful thing about this is I've already tried to hook this up once. I know it fits, uh, has a good angle um, of drop, and I don't need the whoopee slings. Stakes I might need out in the field, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I'll probably need them for the tarp and everything like that, but I can't do them on the driveway, obviously. Um, so yeah, here we are. I'm going in. The height here is fantastic. Can use this as a seat. Not too high, not too low. Just sit here and relax. I've got the uh, winter cover on here from our uh, last hike. Ugh. We can zip that up and uh, that is a uh, very comfortable eye. Can go ASIM, I lay to the left the feet to the right. <sighs> this is very nice. I'm home all day waiting for a couple deliveries. So I might just hang out here until they get here. <sighs> so I've got the perfect hang. Now I just have to worry, uh, think about what to do if it's going to rain. All right, so it's a little breezy today, so I just threw some weight in there, uh, you know, obviously if I were out in the field, I'd stake it down, but um, this is great, good angle here. I could still completely open the tailgate, so I feel like I can incorporate that possibly into my uh, rain shelter if I need to put a tarp, you know, maybe up to the top, out to these poles, and then kind of stake it out that way maybe could work. Um, I wanted to get a better look though just you know it doesn't cover the edge of that is just behind where the hammock lays so everything is angled out that way so um 
I'm going to take a look here and try some stuff. So another thing that just dawned on me here is actually just using the rain fly that I have, uh, putting it to these D-rings, and then this is my foot end, so I would stake it out this way to the ground, and then over here, oh no, this is an unclean side of the car, but over here, I'd probably stake that out this way, possibly around the tire, but I think I have to bring it out this way to get coverage. So, uh, so existing rain cover, I think is an option. I'm gonna have, whoa, getting windy. Getting windy, easy girl, easy. Anyway, uh, so we'll stake the hammock down pretty much any time I sleep out. Um, so existing rain cover is definitely an option. Let's look at two more options. So the blue tarp option would involve this 9x12 blue tarp for $16. It's cheap, waterproof, has grommets, although they seem to be unevenly spaced, approximately 36 inches apart. If I went this route, in my mind's blueprint, I'd also have to pick up a grommet kit uh, and add some. I'd secure a long edge of the tarp to the top of my tailgate, and the opposite long side would need something like these telescoping tarp poles to support it. They would need to be strung out to the ground for support. By the time I completed something like this, it would be 16 for the tarp, $40 for the poles, um, $9 grommet kit, and cordage to stake it out. So we're talking about 70 ish uh, dollars there. This is my mid range option, but is considered experimental uh, in my mind, and I'm not positive that opening the tailgate would be feasible. The high-end option would be this Red Camp waterproof tailgate shelter. Best price I found is $100 at Walmart. This thing is huge, but my only concern is if the side flaps actually stretch out enough to cover my 10 foot 9 inch pole span. It lists uh, 10 foot 4 inches as the unfolded width, but I mean, look at these pictures. I really feel like this could fit the bill. I love the structured dome, which offers plenty of headroom and no issues raising and lowering the tailgate. It's what it's designed for. I feel like I could get a camp chair and table under there as well, even with the hammock. All right, so again, I'm gonna do little bit of duct taping running around here glad that held all right so I want to get like if I get a nine foot tarp nine feet is right here so if that is mounted there at the very edge and goes down to the ground that's not quite gonna work I think I need to be out about here So, shallow angle, mounted on the top of the vehicle, stretched out to the tips of my hitch mount. And then I think I need some, um, uh, like, tent strut kind of uh, things. I don't, um, ah, it's escaping me right now. I'll put the word here. I was looking at them at Amazon. They have them, they extend up to uh, certain heights, but basically stake those in uh, a little higher here, give myself a little angle, and then uh, stake them out, get some tension there. And then that could be my rain shelter. If I go with a, you know, $15 uh, blue tarp, nine by 12. So that could work. All right, so looking at those options, um, I'd love to hear your comments on below on a uh, 
good idea on how to handle uh, keeping dry. Um, I do tend to avoid rain trips. I look at the forecast and really strive to avoid them, but um, I've been surprised and can always be surprised in Pennsylvania. So um, comment below with what you think I should do uh, for a rain shelter. Yeah, let me know. And I want to hook this up soon because in March and April, March, April, May, I want to try and hit some state parks and uh, set up there. And um, this would be a great way to do it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, tell a friend, and we'll see you out there. goes on take the key out and it's locked and it's also upside down